This is just a super quick overview video of the ShareNet Municipal Operations Management System. i uh, give you a quick idea of what kind of capabilities we have. Uh, one aspect is our uh, mobile app. Uh, you can be on the uh, smartphone for the citizens. They can have a, a mobile app. They can select the categories, the location, take pictures, you know, put their contact information in and submit that in. Here's an example of a, a trash pickup uh, request that came in. And we have a workflow system that can automatically route uh, different things for different, based on different categories to different groups for users. And while we're here, just a lot of flexibility in the ShareNet platform, uh, easily add custom fields and list views, these record lists, forms. There's a drag and drop form designer, email templates to communicate exactly what you're wanting. Um, and regarding forms, these are just kind of some samples of the kind of forms you can have set up you know we should mainly it's a work order form in public works but there could be uh, stormwater inspections there could be code enforcement inspections insurance claims a lot of capabilities uh, there so let's just go out to the mobile device as a staff member and we'll go to request we can see all the open requests we can either add a request and we can use the gps of the smartphone device smartphone or tablet or here we'll just go ahead and add a, a tap on the map and then we can see the the open work orders here and i'll tap on a water main i see that water main the the details and if i want to close it out i can just simply uh, change the status to closed and then if i want to add labor hours i've already added one um, you can just hit plus to add labor hours inventory you can capture the equipment hours and the cost and the materials used again just uh, plus to add those uh, really easy in seconds you can capture the the cost information of the work order and when you're done save and close and then that will remove it from the map because it's no longer in an open status with assets we can go to assets and these can be any kind of assets uh, you don't have to have separate modules for different asset types uh, so in the case of one example, it could be a stormwater uh, system. This kind of shows uh, point and uh, layer uh, pipes. So here we've got the stormwater system around this particular lake. And I can add a, a pipe segment layer on there. And then now I can click on a pipe segment, either add a work order uh, to fix that pipe segment or open the asset up and see the history. If I go here, I can click on that point and then scroll down and uh, look at all the maintenance, or in this case, inspections, and there's some outfalls detected that were added. And then you've got that same kind of capability on the smartphone. If we go to assets here, uh, we can do that same kind of map uh, on the smartphone or, or tablet and, and look at that, and then uh, drill in uh, to the particular asset record and related request they would show up in here other types of assets just to show some examples uh, facilities fleet you know if we click on fleet this is now showing uh, fleet specific uh, fields on the list view and then if we open one up uh, it's got uh, fleet specific uh, fields on the form a vehicle make model and these are dynamic uh, based on the, the asset type and we can see all the maintenance history we can drill in see the details we can relate assets to other assets we can set up preventive maintenance schedules um, they can be date based or meter based meter being like an odometer date based uh, being based on a date range there's meter reading capability if you've got a fuel management system we can automatically query that data and add these odometer readings to trigger uh, pms and uh, totally automate that process powerful reporting capabilities there's uh, two report builders built in there's a basic and advanced there's an example of an advanced report this is a detailed version that shows uh, the asset and the work orders and all the, the cost of the work order and then the total cost of the maintenance for that asset for all that time period and then there's a powerful dashboard uh, where you can interact with with data uh, click on a, a pie slice and see the data uh, interact and set date ranges and look at cost of reviews and things like that but anyway just a quick overview love to show you a demo uh, reach out to us and see if we can get that scheduled